والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم asking about these bracelets that we see people wearing sometimes you see people wearing bracelets made of bronze copper bracelets um, and they say that these bracelets give us some sort of remedy for our ains and pakes and they have some, some value to them. Are we allowed to wear uh, jewelry like this with hoping that this will cure us in some way? Well, number one you mentioned, are we allowed to wear jewelry like this? If a man wears it as a mean of adornment, right away is prohibited. And if it is for both reasons, as a remedy and as a mean of adornment, because such adornments, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings are only permissible for women. And the Nabi cursed men who copy women in their dress, in their acts, in their walking, in their way of talking. And he also cursed women who tend to copy men in their way of dressing and competing with them. Women were created as women and men were created as men. To the point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed things for women which he prohibited for men, such as wearing gold and silk. And uh, we may spend some time explaining the reasons, but bar in mind for the believers, once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do or do not do, we must comply. So wearing any mean of adornment, which is intended for women, if a man wears that, that is prohibited. And this is a major sin, because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used the term, لَعَنَ اللَّهُ الْمُتَشَبِّهِينَ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ بِالنِّسَاءِ and the word la'na is such a great word and severe because a la'na means uh, to be expelled from Allah's mercy and deprived from His mercy. So if it is for adornment, we agree that it is totally prohibited and there is no other opinion whatsoever. What if it is for a cure, whether it is rubber, wood, metal, copper, as a mean of protection? not because it has a medication that is prescribed by a physician, but they say wearing such thing is good. It protects you from maybe the evil eye. If your eye is twitching and you wear it, it will stop twitching. Uh, if you have difficulty breathing because it does some mystical work and so on. This is even worse than the first case because now we are wearing a talisman, an amulet or a ta'weez and this is an act of disbelief and associating others with Allah what? what did they associate with Allah in worship? you associated this piece of metal this necklace this bracelet why? because you thought and you believed in it it provides you any protection or it provides you with any benefit which it doesn't it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who benefits and protects from any and every harm and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man alaqa faqadi ashrak. Whosoever wears anything in his neck or hangs as a mean of amulet or ta'weez or talisman, he has committed shirk. And unfortunately, many Muslims unknowingly have inherited these traditions from their forefathers or from their family members or clans or cultures and they keep that other in their pocket under their pillows, in their glove compartment, hanging from the mirror. What is this? Even if it is a small mini Qur'an, microscopic Qur'an, we don't believe in anything provides any benefit, nor protect from any harm, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if it is as a mean of protection, then right away it is totally haram, and you must take it off, and you must say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, and you begin renewing your iman right now. The third condition which is, there are certain bracelets which are manufactured from certain minerals or metals prescribed by physicians as anti-rheumatic because it reduces the pain of rheumatism, for instance. For whatever mechanism or reaction, if it is prescribed and the person is certainly desperately in need for it and there is no alternative, the scholars have differed. Some said, yes, it's permissible in this condition. And some said, no. Let me first comment on those who say no. Why did they say no? It's a treatment. Because the shubha, the doubt, because you're wearing something which will make you look like a woman. Or 
somebody else might think that you're wearing as an amulet. So that is the doubt. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said concerning the doubtful matters, فَمَنِ اتَّقَ الشُّبُهَاتِ فَقَدْ اسْتَبْرَأَ لِدِينِهِ وَعِرْضَهِ One who uh, avoids the doubtful matters, he has sought protection for his religion and for his honor. So it is best to avoid وَمَنْ وَقَعَ فِي الشُّبُهَاتِ وَقَعَ فِي الْحَرَامِ and committing the doubtful matters and getting involved in them and indulging in them will definitely lead you to committing the haram. Those who said it is permissible, they said it's permissible because it is. Number one, there is no doubt that the person is not wearing as an amulet or as a mean of adornment. He's wearing it as a treatment. So in this condition, if it is prescribed by a physician and the shubha or the doubt of using it for any of the previous reasons uh, do not exist, then it is permissible for the person to wear it if he is definitely in need for it and it is prescribed for him. <coughs>